In this proof of concept video, an example of a hardware fault injection attack, namely a voltage glitching attack, is demonstrated. In a voltage glitching attack, an attacker tries to manipulate the behavior of a targeted device by changing its supply voltage in a specific way. For this, the attacker has to operate the targeted device within an attacker-controlled environment where the supply voltage can be manipulated in an almost arbitrary fashion. The demo attack shown in this video exploits a security vulnerability in the code read protection feature of NXP LPC family microcontrollers, which was found and published by Chris Galinsky in 2017. The used voltage glitcher implementation, named iStick Glitcher, is based on Dmitry Nedospasov's FPGA based RT Glitcher, which was also published in 2017 as open source project. Our iStick Glitcher is a simple voltage glitcher implementation developed in Verilog for the rather cheap lattice semiconductor iStick FPGA evaluation kit. It can be built with the open source FPGA toolchain SymbiFlow and its respective components for the ICE40 FPGA. You can download our iStick glitcher from GitHub. Here you can see the used test setup with an oscilloscope, a power supply, an iStick, a MAX4619 switch, the targeted device and a computer. The bitstream of the iStick glitcher can simply be built and written to the iStick using the SymbiFlow toolchain which supports ICE40 FPGAs. Small designs like this one can be built very quickly. A simple Python command tool is used for talking to the iStick glitcher via UART communication. Different configuration parameters regarding the voltage glitching attack can be set, like the time offset or duration of a glitch. For demonstration purposes, a configuration is used that will cause a desired read error regarding the code read protection of the targeted NXP LPC1346 within a couple of seconds. When the voltage glitching attack was successful, it is possible to dump the flash memory content despite the enabled code read protection. Usually, it takes much longer to find a suitable configuration for triggering a successful glitch, even if the target device is known to be vulnerable to this kind of attack. Dumping all the flash memory of the targeted device takes some time using the boot-rom read command. 